Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. The question today is, you know, does hormone replacement therapy increase the risk of breast cancer? And, you know, I tried to warn women back in the 1980s that it did, but it took, you know, many years later before, you know, the evidence was strong enough to end the experiment. But even back in the 1980s, we saw in the Nurses Health Study that every year that a woman was on hormone replacement therapy, that her risk of breast cancer increased by 2.3%. So if she were on hormone replacement between age 50 and 60, that's 10 years, her risk was 23% higher that she'd develop breast cancer compared to someone else her own age who didn't use hormone replacement therapy. And so a lot of women died in the experiment. It really wasn't until the early 2000s that the Women's Health Initiative study and the Million Women study in the United Kingdom gave us conclusive evidence that hormone replacement therapy was increasing risk of breast cancer in those studies by 21%, and also increasing risk of cardiovascular disease, heart attack. Stroke incidence was 41% higher. So that pretty much ended the, the experiment. Uh, and so doctors today don't prescribe it the way they once did. So how was hormone replacement therapy increasing risk of breast cancer? By increasing the rate, at cell, the rate at which cells divide. It's like putting fertilizer on breast cells. They divide too fast they make more genetic mistakes. It leads to cancerous mutations. So now the question of the day is, what about bioidentical hormones? Well, you know, it's a new field. I will say that bioidentical hormones look a lot more like the body's own estrogens, but, you know, even no one has been using them long enough to say absolutely that they're safe. I do personally like the use of natural progesterone. If a doctor recommends that, I'm not against it. But it's too early to say, in my view, that bioidentical hormones when it comes to estrogen are safe to use in the long run. My preference is for women to go on plant-based phytoestrogens, estrogen look-alike compounds, like black cohosh, soy extract, gamma or rosinol. These things have been shown to be safe. And in certain countries like Germany, uh, you know, you, they're, they're the gold standard treatment for, for menopausal symptoms. I've seen about 80% you know, of women get very good relief from menopausal symptoms using that combination of plant-based uh, phytoestrogens. If that's not enough and the woman wants to add natural progesterone cream or their doctor wants to add natural progesterone in some form, I'm totally supportive of that. However, there are, you know, there are many other ways besides avoiding hormone re replacement therapy to reduce risk of breast cancer. I've put the 10 most important steps together in a program called the 10-step breast cancer prevention program that you can download right from this site. It's available right here and you should do it right away. Now at machinohealth.com you'll see my other published review papers, uh, other articles that I've written, videos, live footage from my professional seminars, other resources that are available all for free that will help you lead a healthy, long, functional life. It's not just good enough to be alive with a heartbeat. You want to be alive and functional as the years tick away. My review papers and all my teaching materials come complete with all the scientific references to make sure that you're seeing that it's, that it's from evidence-based sources so you can be certain that anything that you're searching, you're getting reliable information on that's scientifically based. So be sure to use machinohealth.com as an ongoing reliable resource for health and wellness information for both you and your family members. Thanks so much for watching.